Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. I'm excited to come to you today with a super quick, super easy makeup tutorial for people that aren't really into makeup, who don't have too much time, and just show you some products that I love. But before we begin, let's start with the quote of the day. Sometimes when you are in a dark place, you think you've been buried, but actually you've been planted. <music> So I brought you a little closer just so you can kind of get the tea on my skin. I, I got a facial a few days ago, so I got microderm. It's still fresh. It's still a little red. I've got some pimples and some blemishes here and there, but overall, not too bad. So first step is to moisturize. I've been using this Well People moisturizer. It's okay. I got it during Ulta's Skin Beauty event and it was half off and I just wanted to try it out, but it's okay. So next we are going to prime. I've never tried these two together, but this is what's happening. So I'm definitely never going to use that combination of primer and moisturizer again. Let's hope the rest of this video goes well. So to start off, I'm going to use these brow products by Refi, and they're a new brand that I tried out. I bought their products in November. And I do have ombre powder brows, but I'm due for a touch up in a few weeks. So I actually do need to fill in my brows and use brow gel on them in general too. And these are actually really good products, cruelty free. I used to use the Benefit ones, but they're not cruelty-free, and so it's important to me that I incorporate more cruelty-free products, and these products are definitely worth it, worth the little higher price, and you get the cruelty-free, and they're good quality. So first, I just kind of brush my hairs a little bit. I just kind of get them ruffled up so I can see which places I need to fill in. Then I brush through them again. Then I go in with their product Brow Sculpt, which will literally make you look like you got a brow lamination. And then it also has this. And I just kind of like to comb my brows again and then sculpt them. Next, I go in with their bronzer in the shade Sand. And at first I did not like this color but I, it grew on me and the formula grew on me. Like before I never used to use cream products. I used to use powder blushes and powder bronzers, but I really like this formula actually. So you wanna put it a little higher just so you're not dragging down your cheekbones. And I forgot to mention, if you like foundation, if you like, I personally like BB creams, CC creams, light coverage, I'm not into full coverage, then by all means, go ahead and do that first after you um, prime. But otherwise, I really don't wear that much, so that's why I didn't do it. And then, of course, we have to add some to the forehead area. <laughs> just to add a little extra color to your face. And then we're going to go in with their blush, Rose. Now I've always been anti-blush, like whenever my mom wanted to put blush on me, I was like, no, 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 but now I'm obsessed with blush and I literally love blush. But everyone has a different face shape, so I recommend looking at different charts of where you should put your blush because some people should put their blush, you know, on the apples of their cheeks. Or some people just do like this, and I've been going kind of up like that. There's different ways, or if you want to put your blush lower, there's different ways you could do it. And so it's best just to see what kind of face shape you have and or experiment and see what looks best on you. 
But while we're talking about this, I really want to touch on the fact that a lot of us, at least me, used to always, you know, watch makeup tutorials and follow people who were just beautiful in hopes that I would look like them, you know, and that I would buy all this makeup that they use in hopes that I could look like them because I somehow thought that they were more beautiful than me and more valued than me. But I just want you all to know that that's not true and that everyone should have their own style of makeup and form of doing makeup. And I know you see these people and they're beautiful and they have all this makeup on and it takes hours to do. But if that's just not you, then don't worry about it. And you can find other ways to showcase your beauty because it's there. You know, your value is not just based on your outside looks. So I like to put a little just on my nose. And I also kind of like to put a little on my forehead too. It's just one of those things where if you have excess, just put it somewhere on your face. And if you want to, you can put some on your lips too. Um, you can put some on your eyes, honestly. I forgot to put the bronzer on my eyes because sometimes I will just kind of wipe off the excess on my eye area and it adds a little extra depth. Lastly, my favorite part, we are going to use their highlighter called Topaz and it's supposed to be a universal highlighter. Literally just take the smallest amount because it is really pigmented. Like all you need is that amount for one side. And I've been just kind of going like that. Then I put some under my brow bone. And I will say at first I was a little skeptical of this highlight because I didn't really think the coloring or the undertones were for me, but I really love the formula and I love how it goes on and stays. And my favorite, the nose. And you can even put a little here, on here, here, wherever you want. I mean, this, this is why I love makeup tutorials because I just wanna show you these products and make you aware of these products, but tailor the routine to yourself and how much time you need and don't need. And it's really important to not take a lot of these makeup tutorials at face value because I mean, a lot of them take hours and they're really intricate. And if you're just not that type of person, then don't force yourself to because I used to force myself to be like, Okay, I need to buy this product because I want to look like them, but I'm not going to look like them because I'm not them, you know? And you need to really think about your own features on your own face and tailor your makeup routine to that so you can highlight the places that you love and that really define you and that you want to showcase. How do we look? We're glowing. And then I'm not gonna do my eyes because I have eyelash extensions on. And then last up is, if you want, do a little lip gloss. I'm obsessed with this Creme Brulee NYX Butter Gloss right now. It matches my natural lips pretty well and just adds that extra shine. Damn, I look cute and you can look cute too. I'm gonna leave the links to all the products that I used. And I'm just someone who does not like makeup. I'm kind of, I'm not anti-makeup, I just don't do it. So using these products, they're simple, they're easy to use, to blend, and just a few products. You can really highlight certain areas of your face and then just look good and feel good, you know? And you don't need to go above and beyond and spend two hours on this. So I hope you really like this. Let me know if you want other tutorials or if you want me to try any other beauty products. I'm always willing to. And I hope you like this video. Try it out and see how it goes. Please tune in for the next video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.